So ball position in your setup for your golf swing can be incredibly confusing, but should be really, really simple. Now there's two key methods that you can use for ball position. One's the static ball position as used by Ben Hogan, and one's the variable ball position used by most other golfers. But what I'm gonna talk about in today's video is how Hogan, even though he's one of the best players ever, maybe wasn't actually right when he said he used the static ball position, and yet it was brilliant how he did it. So let me just explain what the static and variable ball position options are. So static ball position would be that the ball's always opposite the inside of the left heel, and when you've got a, a wedge in your hand, you'd be very narrow stance. As the clubs get longer, your stance becomes wider, but the ball position stays opposite that left heel every time. The variable ball position is driver starts opposite that heel, and as the clubs get shorter, the ball position moves more towards the center of the stance. Now, I can completely understand why the static ball position seems more simple to do, but I'm gonna start with seven iron, which says in the middle, or left heel with the, the mid stance, and I explain why it's not exactly what it would seem with what Hogan talks about, but then I'm gonna demonstrate how brilliant it is with driver, seven iron, and a wedge. So, if we said with a seven iron, Hogan said left heel, fairly narrow stance, and everything nice and square. Now, the thing for me there is even though that's opposite my left heel, you can see that's probably just in front of my sternum. So that's actually not too bad. And then even if I were to set up with the variable ball position, you can see the ball is still just opposite my sternum. So even though the ball's in a different part of the feet, it's still in the same place of my sternum. And I think this is where it gets a little bit confusing for guys. But what this would give me with a seven end is the ability to set up, make my swing, and not have too much out on path, get my low point nicely ahead so the club travels down, and then obviously get me a really nice distance with that club. So that's with that mid iron. So now we're moving to driver, and this is where it kind of, I think Hogan wasn't quite right in what he was talking about, but I completely understand why it worked for him. So again, he said, opposite the inside of the left heel and that nice wide stance. So you can see that then plays very much kind of just forward of my left armpit. Now, the secret with him though, is he pulled that right foot back. Now, what's really interesting with that is if you were to look down here, that looks like left heel. But then if you actually look at the line of my feet, the ball's actually much further forward in the golf swing. Now this is gonna cause the driver to have the low point behind the ball and the club travel up much more. Now, as the club travels up though, you'll notice how the path of the club is much more out to win. And this is where golfers get themselves in a lot of trouble. So I would say you get that left heel and I think what he did brilliantly by pulling that foot back, it's gonna change the direction of my swing much more over to the right so that as I swing, we can see a very accurate shot. We can see the swing direction two degrees from the inside, low point 3.8 inches behind, club traveled up 2.8 degrees, and the path almost dead straight at minus 0.6 degrees. But even though Hogan spoke about that being a static ball position, you can see actually relative to my body, the ball position starting to move around, but then his change in alignment of the body makes up for that ball position moving. So like I said, I think it's brilliant. Bearing in mind, he didn't have things like Trackman to work on that. He was just working on what the ball was doing, which I know a lot of golfers say that the golf ball doesn't lie. It doesn't always tell the full truth. But I thought that's brilliant that he worked that out by closing the stance with driver, making him swing more from the inside, it helped him hit the ball straighter. Now, as we work down then into the wedges, so for him still felt inside left heel, incredibly narrow stance, but he then moved that right foot forward slightly to make it almost feel more of a 
an open stance, allowing him to swing a little bit more left. Now, if you're not sure about the swinging left, swinging right, inside, outside, I've got a video that I did about a week ago. I'm gonna pop it up in that corner. You can just see why this could be absolutely genius for your irons and wedges. But, like I said, left heel, for him, is a static ball position. But as we narrow that stance right down, all of a sudden we see my sternum's in line with the golf ball. So again, the ball position is variable relative to my body, even though it's static relative to my feet. And then what he was able to do with that open stance is put a good swing on it. Obviously at low point, way ahead of the golf ball, three inches ahead, club traveling down 3.8 degrees. We can see my swing direction much more to the left because of that open stance. Path still incredibly straight. And then obviously good distance with good control. But the real key is whether you think that you're a static ball position golfer inside that left heel, or whether you feel you're a variable ball position. What I would say is they're both variable. It just depends where you're focusing. Are you focused on your body or are you focusing on your feet? But the brilliant thing, like I said, is with driver, don't be afraid to pull that foot back. Then as the club's traveling up, the path's gonna be nice and straight. As the clubs get a little bit shorter, you're gonna to move to something slightly squarer. Even if you're somebody who's similar width of stance, squarer stance again is gonna help with the path. And then when you get into those shorter clubs, don't be afraid of being a little bit right foot forward, slightly open stance. And again, that's gonna control the delivery of your clubs from driver all the way through to wedges. And like I said at the start of the video, Ben Hogan, absolute genius, even though he might have been wrong, he just might have been very, very right.